So uh, in this session, what we saw about creating database design, we are following a very productive scenario of enterprise procurement model rather than going sample scenarios of books and uh, and work, uh, books and authors. I'm going more complex ERP scenario, which includes uh, complex database design like addresses, business partners, purchase orders, purchase order items, products and product tags, which are language specific texts. So here we started with build installing our SQLite dependency. SQLite is a lightweight file system based database for CAPM for local development in VS Code. And then we created our data model. And once we did that, we also saw how the compilation of a data model happens, what actually it generates as SQL. Then we deployed our database artifacts to the SQLite database. Together with that, we also included our sample demo data so that our application can uh, can be tested uh, later on once the service is created or Fury app is created. Uh, we can reuse this uh, this definition and the sample demo data. And then we used command line tool to test also our our SQLite connection. And then we checked our tables as well as the relationship and foreign key between these tables. Uh, as an as a last step, what we did was we have added the foreign key relationship between database tables and established a uh, cyclic relationship between uh, business partner and address and same way as a as a cycle uh, as a relationship between address and the business partner that this address belongs to which business partner the main advantage of this constraint including at database table uh, database level will be later on once you create o data services they will automatically transform into an association at o data level which will give you great benefits of uh, fetching the dependent data automatically so that's it from my side i would uh, give you an exercise all of you have to create these tables remaining four tables yourself and the relationship the sample data set will be uploaded right after the class so you can just accordingly create these database tables in the system yourself and in the next class we'll talk about uh, concept of aspect what is aspect in uh, cds in capm and then we will start towards building our first audit service and the audit service context also we will learn about adding um, adding and reaching our uh, our data model with uh, language specific descriptions of fields which will help user to to give the labels on the fury app in the next session thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next class have a nice day goodbye